What is up, YouTube? DWK videos. I'm coming back at you with that mm, fresh content. Before we jump into the video, as always, my social media links will be in the description down below. If you want to follow me, that would be cool. Also, you guys, I keep checking my YouTube analytics. A good majority of the people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you hit that subscribe button, you'll cure my dog of cancer. No lie. No scam. I know the last one, we couldn't completely cure my dog of cancer. He still has a little bit of cancer. Let's cure him up. Today, we're going to be watching the Malaysian military train with U.S. Marines. We do training exercises like this all over the globe, all the time with our allies. This isn't any classified footage. It's public uh, domain where you can find this video. No problem whatsoever. Let's take a quick look into the Malaysian military. First off, first impression, appreciate their drip. All right? Low to the ground. Okay. Uniforms like that are unique. Kind of reminds me of like the Filipino military uniforms. They seem to be making uh, a YouTube vlog with their drone. Uh, classic YouTube thing to do nowadays. Uh, start your intro off with a nice drone going up. You guys want to see it? See it more? Or? I'm telling you, dude, frogs look so good. Marine Corps frogs. Just that top he was just wearing. Standard practice before you go in any combat zone, you want to make sure there's no gold you could profit on. Go ahead and check the ground for gold. They're using live rounds. I can't tell if they have a. Stop right now, they're using live rounds. <laughs> this is almost as hardcore as Nava the Beasts uh, when he had to go to the field that one time in Japan. This is almost as, as, as hardcore as Nava the Beast had to do it. He's an admin cleric, but... Don't underestimate him. <laughs> oh, we got the corpsman shedding some knowledge. Showing that guy how to do a crike. This is from my deployment. I know this guy. <laughs> what? You guys, this happened out of the blue randomly. I swear to God. Okay. In the Marine Corps, um, there's multiple different types of deployments. SP MAGTAP, UDP. There's one called a MU, MU Marine Expeditionary Unit, which is where uh, all the groups underneath the MEF get on a ship with the blue side unit and join an amphibious readiness group. And they sail out and they go to different parts of the country. <laughs> <laughs> my unit went to well as uh these guys the div corpsmen they went <laughs> to malaysia apparently dude this just pet this i completely forgot about this i was just going to react to this just for fun this is literally the deployment i was on i'm not on ground with these guys i think i was in kuwait while this was happening um but yeah these corpsmen you're about to see in these videos are guys i worked hand in hand with <laughs> Why have I just seen this? There's a youngin right there. Uh, the nose hose. I'm actually really curious about other countries' ranks because on military bases, you will always see like uh, Canadian, Spain, Italy, like random militaries come to our bases to train, like our allies. Um, and I never, 
ever know their ranks. Like sometimes they're really old and they have gray hair, so I'm assuming they're a high rank, but who knows? It's it's so hard because each like system does their own thing, you know? Maybe that'd be a good video for me to go research that and tell you everyone else's ranks. You know, that is a good video. I'm gonna do that. Put it right here, in the noggin. So real remember, uh, you want to try to remember the shape of it, color, as much as much detail. But if there's an IED and it goes off, all right, that's a literal bang. That is. We roll into a Kim's game. It's going to be two principles, all right? Two principles above. Hip pocket classes, man. Got some Harriers flying by, providing support. Com squadrons there. I guess they called something else in Div. Whatever Com. Com group. <laughs> it's just standing on stack. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Someone get this man an actual podium. He's gonna break through those plastic chairs. <laughs> Listen, sir, um, we're surrounded by tons of equipment you can stand on. However, I thought the best possible solution to you not being able to see over the group is just uh, let's stack about eight or nine plastic chairs. <laughs> gorgeous that is gorgeous asian countries are so gorgeous man if you guys have not visited an asian country i highly highly recommend it how did google know how did google know <laughs> they're actually downsizing artillery so this might be like the last good look you get at these so sort of Marines. When you're a corpsman and you go with marines, they often let you like fire their weapons. You know, like if you want to shoot a sniper, it's cool. If you want to shoot like a light machine gun, it's cool. Really, whatever you want to shoot, your marines will normally let you as a greenside corpsman. Um, if I was ever offered to do artillery stuff like that, I would say no. Yo, that thing is so scary, man. Imagine it just kind of plopping out in front of you. Like, what do you even do besides just like close your eyes and wait for it? If you're in artillery, you have some serious Balls, man. <laughs> Can you fathom the amount of doxy all these people had to take to be out there because of all the mosquitoes? Doxy is like a preventive medicine that you take before you go into like other countries where environmental health hazards kind of uh, lay and the mosquitoes there definitely <laughs> cause problems, man. Oh, that's cool. They're showing the Malaysian military about our about our stuff. See, how insane is that? How insane is that? Who would have fathomed? If we could go back in time and find, find like, Abe Lincoln and the people around that century, right? And be like, hey, this is the type of shit we can do in 2020. They would blow their mind. Bro, showing them this light bulb in the back would blow their mind.
Move the boys up! Move them up! Move them up! Move them up. Hey, go, buddy. go! 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 Yo, the military has this advanced laser system to where you can essentially play laser tag, but with the blanks. So you put the uh, stopper at the end of your gun, so it'll still discharge a blank. But when it does that, it shoots off this super advanced laser where you're wearing an advanced vest and you can pretty much simulate war with your buddies. It's like the most advanced laser tag. You can play out in open fields, forces, whatever. Obviously, it costs thousands and thousands of dollars to do that, so... I mean, if you're a civilian doing that, there's no chance. But if you're in the military, you might actually get to experience that. And it will actually tell you where you got hit and the injury. So then the medic can, like, hypothetically do his saving interventions on you. Um, they're not using the lasers here, so that's a bad example. I just got hyped seeing that because I got to do this in, like, a training pipeline before. We're all, like, in a wooded area at night, and we have, like, a little lasers on our gun. It's, it's, it's adult laser tag. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> Okay, so they're having the Marines do the on site treatment. Hey, make sure you bring get the, uh, the black straps as well. Yeah, don't put it on the fire. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, the boots. The helmet. Everything, we're going to put it black. Do one up, right? Alright. It's a hefty boy. That was a hefty boy right there. That thing is, do this and backboard. Do the grip one, then the top of the other one. Use the boss. So you start this one. So C. We have uh, IV, POV. Alright, so two large IV bolts. Strong left leg, pistol bolts, weak right leg. Alright, ready? See, this dude's enjoying his time. It's only fun. <laughs> <laughs> when you're the patient, bro, it's only fun when you're the patient. I mean, some people like drilling this stuff, um, <laughs> but these like patient scenarios are so much better when you're the patient. Like I was on a bed team for majority of this deployment, uh, which is like relative to the ship. And like each, t we had to do training evolutions to keep up our skills, obviously. But like. <laughs> <laughs> like the same group of corpsmen kept getting selected as the patient, so like the entire training days they would just chill, chill, get hey, right around, maybe get an IV in their arm, you know? Move, move, move. Down, down, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Alright, it's been two minutes, reset. Alright, that's ready. Time off deck. Alright, 1, 2, 3, up! Dude's got his feet exposed to the world. Uh, from this point onwards, uh, during, uh, inside the ambulance, I will call the hospital to away. Alright, hopefully, all right, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I gave you a little look into uh, cross-training between different services and different nations, actually. I'm, I'm still so, like, <laughs> taking it in that I didn't even realize this was for my deployment. Maybe because I wasn't directly involved in this exercise. I think that's why it slipped my mind so much. Because this really didn't have much to do with me at all. You guys understand how, like, a Mew works, right? You guys are on a ship together, blue side. There's like four elements under the Mew. You have the Maw, MLG, Div, and Command Element. And, uh, you know, like, it was just... <laughs>
See you guys in the next one. <laughs>